sir, yes sir, we back at it again. I want to say thank you to all that's been coming to the channel and supporting. This is My Life Story 702, and it's your boy Money Man. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, and please comment if you could. We're going to do a goal right now. Let's see if we can get 20 likes, if that's possible, on this video. Um, this is Young Thug's lawyer going at the judge. I don't know what's going on, but the judge, I mean, a lawyer shouldn't be talking like this. Let's see, man. Um, let's get to it. The judge like this. Yo, he's he's getting at that nigga, bro. Why you do this? I didn't do anything wrong. I did exactly what you teach me to do and the courts teach me to do. Right. But instead, no, no, I got to finish this. Then I get told... To this you heard him? Yo, no, no, nigga, I gotta finish this shit. Court, this court says by prosecutor Love that I'm not being candid with the court and I'm misrepresenting because Mr. Bean never went to the hospital at Grady on September 11, 2013, and Miss Love has a document on the desk to prove it. I sat right in front of your honor at the at the table at the bench and I said, I'd be careful what you say. That's not accurate. Miss Love looked down on me and she said, It is accurate. You said we'll take a break, figure it out. After the break, you didn't even bat an eye. Ms. Love said, yeah, I was totally wrong. Mr. Steele's right. He was taking a break. If I would have done that and called another member of the bar disingenuous, not truthful, no candor, and misrepresenting, you would have had me yelling in front of a jury. You did nothing. You didn't even ask Ms. Love to apologize. I don't want her apology. I don't care about Ms. Love, but I care about the court. And now if you can walk in someone else's shoes just for a minute and see what you're doing to Mr. Williams, because it's hurtful. I'm not the one wasting time. I'm here every day ready to go. I am not wasting the time. I make a motion to ask you to please recuse yourself. I know you have to be in writing within five days if you want me to do that. I you wish I would let somebody, somebody had a hand of my life in and had a control of my life in their hands and they sitting here complaining and worrying about how to judge mistreating them when you my lawyer bro i go bizarre on this crispy cream donut skittle top head ass dude for real and also just direct you that i had the responsibility to control the proceedings in this particular in this particular circumstance sometimes uh things get kind of kind of heated and that's kind of what that's the crucible and trial um, of any particular case, I am not in any way in, in, in intimating in any way that you are not professional, you are not prepared. But the things that I am bringing up to both of you, and I have I have trusted both sides for this particular issue of not being prepared in the sense of, and the only reason it it it, it affects the trial of the case is it makes the proceedings a lot longer than they should be because all these things could be taken up. And sometimes if we've got to parse out all these things, as you can see right now. It takes time, and, they, and that's what I'm kind of concerned about, having been a jurist for a long time. So, um, I understand that you're a zealous advocate. Um, you in no way offend me by, by raising any type of motion. Uh, I think you're doing a, I think that you, are represent, you and the others here are representing your clients well, but, sir, I, I have to be able to control these proceedings. And you at times in these proceedings have not listened to what the courts told you, and I certainly could have explored other options. I didn't. So, I'll tell you that much, to, for what it's worth. You but, allowed a member of the bar yesterday, ask a witness, sassy, who constantly is committing, respectfully, potentially perjury. Did Mr. Steele shut off and turn on the recording? I never did that. I wouldn't do that. I didn't do that. Okay, and that's, sir, that's a, that's a, sir, sir, that's I would have said that question about another member of the bar, prosecution. you would have come over the bench and said, how dare you? I, I sat there and I said, outrageous. You okay, denied that, the motion. I think three other people made motions to strike or to object. You denied it. Judge, I'm just telling you the appearance, if not the reality, is not good here. I'm, I'm being what to who? To Mr. Williams. Okay, but it, maybe to the others. Maybe you're, his, you're, right? you're his advocate, okay? And that, that, told, that separate issue of whether or not you did what you did, the state accused you, the state accused you of that, they have the right to at least inquire about whether or not that particular, that happened. And whether or not it happened or not, I'm not making any comment on it, but it goes to bias, it goes to mis motives to misrepresent. So but, that but, never but, happened. No, okay, but I, I'm, not I'm not commenting. I'm not commenting on that. That's for, the jury, that's, for the, that's for the jury to decide. I asked a question about a missing recording that wasn't given okay uh i i, I do know that uh sexy red is on um uh stream with aiden right now we are going to react to that 
uh, what I did want to show you guys is, you know, th this is why it, it, this clip is like important in context because now they're saying. Just know it's gonna be alright. You gonna have them rainy times, a little thunder in your life. I see you trying to make a break, really fighting for your life. They don't know what you going through. Can't see how you. 